So if you're looking for something good to watch on Sunday nights, Unsung and Uncensored new season started yesterday. Unsung featured Bobby Caldwell, while Uncensored featured Vivica A. Fox. Both shows were really, really good. And what I like about Unsung and Uncensored is the fact that they cover all of the stuff that you might have wanted to know about that person while they were actually popping. Now, we all know Bobby Caldwell passed last year, actually March 14th, and I was surprised to actually see him on his unsung, but he passed away not long after they recorded it. We obviously had no clue that that was a white man, but once people found out, they didn't care because if you love music, you don't care where it came from. But it's a good watch because I had no clue that this man went to the hospital for something, got antibiotics, and the antibiotics sat him down. Like, they really messed him up. They also covered his little short stint with drugs, obviously. But if you're looking for something good to watch, check that out. Lisa Ray hosted Uncensored, which I thought was so cool because I love the fact that her and Vivica Fox are actually friends. And Vivica Fox was actually so happy to see her, which was so nice because, you know, the girls be mean. But she obviously just shares how she got started, which was Soul Train. And she had a quick little stint with the stories. And she also did a little modeling, but she also got into how, you know, her movie roles came about and how she felt about each one of them, which I thought was really good. People be trying to play Vivica because she be on Lifetime or whatever. But Vivica done did over 50 Lifetime projects. Now, y'all can say what y'all want about Vivica, but Vivica is a staple. Vivica stayed working, okay? She was in a lot of our iconic black films from the 90s and the early 2000s. And I just think people should quit playing with her name. And y'all know no Vivica interview would be complete without her mentioning 50 cent but she just detailed their relationship and she basically said that 50 wanted her to be his little princess but she wasn't ready she was basically operating in her masculine energy and she wouldn't sit down child and that wasn't working for her and 50 cents relationship so that's how they ended up on the outs allegedly but she still maintains the fact that 50 cent was the love of her life Which I hate that statement because I just think that when you say somebody is the love of your life and you met them when you was like 20, like, girl, if you don't stay with them, you Xing yourself out from the future potential good men that can come into your life by saying that, hey, my love stops here with this person that I met 20 years ago, like, girl. That statement just seems like a curse because Vivica wasn't linked to any other men after 50 Cent. Like, who has she been with? And she didn't really discuss anybody other than him. And she never really does. But if you saw these shows last night, what did you think about them? Come on down to the comments and let's talk about it.